Okay, so welcome to Vibe, everyone. Woo! We're in Moi Wo, we're on Lantau Island, we're in Hong Kong, and we're going out live on Facebook. So, uh, about a, I don't know, six weeks ago, yeah. Carl and I met in the shop and we talked about a tiny desk gig. And then here we are, Saturday the night, Saturday night. <laughs> All right, without further ado, the Funkophones. Yeah! <laughs> All right, so we're the Funkophones. We'll do a full introduction to the band, but we're going to give you some music first. This uh, first song is called Before You Woke Up. <laughs> Just kidding. That was, <laughs> that was half asleep, guys. <laughs> Everyone who can't see, this is just this a very large uh, bookstore, and uh, there's uh, there's probably at least fifty thousand people here that you can't see as well. But it might might just sound like fifteen or twenty. Yeah, it, it's gonna be tough to get the toilet. Um, I like to introduce the band now. The uh, the band to my left, we're gonna start with our uh, cajon player, uh, better known as a drummer, yeah. and <laughs> this is Bao. So let's give it up for Bao. <laughs> We uh, wrestled between going with a cone or a full set, but I think this obviously works better uh, in this space. And uh, to my left here, we have Ryan. 
Uh, Ryan Winter, not Winters, even though Winters is what would sound more natural, my last name. And uh, to my right, we have Sebastian, um, better known as Seb. He is well known on Llama Island. So for everyone who's tuning in to Llama Island, this is, yeah, famous. He's very famous. Famous for things you don't want to be famous for. And, I am uh, Kyle Wagner, and I am on keys, and uh, yep. We, we are all from um, Hong Kong. We're locals, as you could probably tell, and uh, we speak fluent Cantonese, so uh, yeah, you'll hear that a little bit later. No, uh, we're, we're all international uh, musicians. Uh, this next song is uh, called Half Asleep, the first song is Before You Woke Up. I, I like to write songs in my sleep. Um, this song is dedicated for my partner, uh, who is watching. Uh, this is for Lawrence, and the first song was about uh, my old partner who basically would never get out of bed, and it's about my current partner who gets out of bed at like 5 a.m. every single morning. All right. <laughs> and I miss it, you, you answered back. Okay, until the clouds shifted track. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't predict when your mood will change. Now, not a call or a text, the sound of a ring.
That is half a seat. Uh, my, my, my foot pedal is going to be half asleep if I keep moving it. I was, my legs were like stretching out through that song. I'm going to tape it next time. Um, okay, great. So that was half asleep, and we are going to move into a season that uh, we all enjoy. Everyone know what season we're moving into? No, come on, Halloween. Halloween, yes. For us Americans, Halloween is is definitely a big season. But I'm talking about a season like worldwide that is like popular. Anyone know what season? Yes, your birthday. Is your birthday coming up? Okay, when is it? November. November, okay. Well, we'll do a happy birthday you know, in November for you. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about Christmas, right? So, I know, right? Bah humbug. Uh, so this song is about Christmas, and it's about uh, really what the, the mean, true meaning of Christmas is. Jesus? Not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom and Dad, if you're watching this, and Jesus is still the reason for this season. Okay. Right. 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 You guys can clap if you want.
I saw everyone being like, is it the end of the song now? Wait, is this the end of the song? Is this the end of the song? I saw it. Yeah, it, does, it happens a lot. So we'll let you know. We'll give you like a wink when it's the actual end of the song. Uh, we're moving into this next song. Uh, actually, let me get it. Let me make sure I know what it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> This this next song, uh, we will see, we will see what you think. This is this is shows a little bit of uh, versatility. This is we, I wouldn't call this funk if, so if much. If we don't say so ourselves. Yeah, if we don't say so ourselves. <laughs> I know that didn't sound very humble at all. Okay. Okay, we'll see what you guys think of it. This this song's called Thief. <clears throat> that is really loud. Okay, let me turn this down a little bit. <laughs> a thief is like you're gonna steal your drums. Here we go.
Thank you there in the corner in the back. If you guys couldn't see, everybody was dancing to that song. Yeah, I, I never knew you guys were such good dancers. Um, so we're going to go from that one, Rhythm is Freedom. Uh, this next song uh, is about one of the people who got on the Funkaphone's bus, and uh, her name is Trina. Huh? <laughs> you do hold it out <laughs> in your hands. I'm 
Yes, if Jesus came out for Christmas, he surely went away for that song. <laughs> All right, uh, we're jumping into uh, this new song. There's a lot of hidden encoded messages in this song, so we'll see if um, see if you can get the uh, the hidden encoded messages uh, in this this song. But actually, uh, a quick story about this song. Uh, I was running down at the the harbor front, and I ran into this uh, lovely group of students. In fact. And uh, they were about eight to 14 years old. They stopped me. I was thinking, okay, I'm running. I'm, I'm like in my zone, right? You know how you, it's like, you don't really want to stop, but I stopped. I was like, all right, you know, I'm an educator. I should probably listen to these students. And they started talking to me. They said, can I tell you about something? And I said, yeah, sure. Well, what do you want to tell me about? I want to tell you about global warming, right? I'm not going to make this super political. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. It's already political. Um, and, but I said, well, who's, where's your teacher? You know, they said, oh, we don't have a teacher. And I said, so you guys just organized yourselves. Yes, we organized ourselves. And they organized across all these international schools. And uh, it got me thinking, you know, for the youth and basically just their, uh, I think their innocence and I think also their imagination, their creativity. And uh, this song is, you know, trying to empower them and thinking about their message and us as older generations me only. Um, I don't want to be lumped in with you. You're, yeah, you're not lumped in. He's a little bit younger than me, but uh, yeah. This is uh, th this is a song uh, for that generation. We call it the new millennial. <clears throat>
guys, guys. You sound great. Yeah, you, you got to come up here and do backing vocals. We have. We need another mic. Do we have another mic? Jeez. All right. Isn't that during the movie where the person's singing in the background and we're like, oh, hey, you can sound pretty good. You should come join the band. <laughs> do you play saxophone? Uh, that would be oh, great. Yeah. Do you? Oh, oh, yeah. I play the trumpet. Do you play the trumpet? No, if you... the mouth trumpet. Uh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we really do need a trumpet or a saxophone player. We're talking about this. So you might, you might be uh, in now. Yeah, stage All right. space is going plenty right now. We've yeah. got loads of space on the stage. Yeah, we got loads of space. No, we're talking about future now. All right. Um, <laughs> Here we go. This next song is uh, it, my name. I'm basically my namesake. Yes, it does say Kyle Wagner. This was my, <laughs> this was my quote, but it was suggested by a you know, band. So I know shameless self plug. So this this song is called Proud to be a Hipster. I will tell you, though, I do not consider myself a hipster, which is must the thing most hipsters say. Right. <laughs> um, so uh, if the lyrics don't resonate with you like they didn't resonate with my brother, who is a hipster, who produced this song, who said, I will only produce it if you change the lyrics. So anyways, uh, yes, this song is called uh, Proud to be a Hipster. <laughs> dumpster filled with rocks but yeah I'm still proud to be a hipster yeah. I think this whole vibe place is very hipster, right? Is this is. super hipster? We are trying to keep hipster in Hong Kong. All right. <laughs> drunks are hipsters. I mean, they stay blurred sometimes. The lines. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's <laughs> in between, alcohol is the common denominator. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
This song is Don't Worry Lawrence. This song's not about you because you're going to hear the lyrics and hope it's not about you. Um, <laughs> this song is about another ex, and it's. Uh, I know, my ex is so popular. I know, sorry, sorry. He's had a long life. He had a long life. It's, it's many exes. You can't guess which one. <laughs> and it's called a She's Such a Pain. <clears throat> I'll another one. <laughs>
she cut my vocal cords open too. I, I literally have no more vocal cords left. That's all we got for uh, tonight. We want to thank uh, a couple people uh, who made this possible. First of all, let's thank Vibe uh, Records. We, uh, we love bookstores. My partner and I, we're always going to bookstores. There's not many of them in Hong Kong. In fact, the one what just below our house is going out of business. Bleak House is closed yeah. as well. Yeah, a lot of places. So we know, especially this time, without talking too much about how important bookstores are. So let's keep Vibe going strong. So thank you so much, uh, Vibe. Thank you, Cal. And uh, the specific people to thank are Phil. Uh, we want to thank Phil over here as a producer. Yeah. Good producer. I want to thank James also, who does RTHK, yep. Phil and, and James. And last but not least is Gary for making this connection happen. Yeah. Yeah. And all our fans, Fuck a Phone fans. Yeah. Yeah. And last thing to say is, if you like what you hear, then you can get us on Spotify, uh, look up Funkophones, and then also we have shows coming up. Uh, Tuesday night, we'll also be live streaming full through, uh, yeah, yeah, full, full band, band with not the Cajon. Yeah. He'll have a, have a real we'll drum. Give him some real, <laughs> real drums. Some real stuff to we, we like to work him up to the real drums. Yeah. You know, this is, he's not ready for those you yet. Did, yeah, and you did well. You did well. You did well. You did well. You did well.